question. Hello, Ibrahim. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Oh. So are you at the airport? Yes, I'm, I'm at the airport now. I'm at the airport with a few of the Ghanaian fans and journalists here. I even have a large bruiser with me here. Let's hear He's him. He's a management member of the Black Stars. Let's hear him. A large bruiser. A large bruiser. Yes. Hey, yeah, uh, Paul, I don't know if you're back into one or T Akran or Metro TV. Ah, it is important. I mean, who are Kumasi Kra? I'm a mommy, baby. Say, my dear, so I'll leave my say Ghana football. Sorry, sorry. Aladi, and that day, now me chat there. You will need a qualifier, a draw by a qualifier. Now, a beer name role I will play. And that video be called round and there. Now, only black stars in the casa. Now, there are some now catch your monty and they me winning. You know, oh, now they say, oh, mum, first, oh, beer, you beer football, dear. Say the normal, but born, no more born Ghana. So, um, Timmy Bono, inshallah, victory away. Yen a Benya victory, so so we are there. And I am Kupas and Sana in that place, and I see before Kuchi. In the way, do Ghana time by name Brian Potting Bisham, where we do time by Ghana at least about two o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. In the players, no way. Bless you, I just won't walk up in a different flight. Aha, okay. 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 From the Moshu Abiola Stadium, uh, I think the players yes, are yes. safe. You, the journalists, may be safe, but the supporters who were in the stands are they okay? Yeah, they are safe. They are safe. For, although there were a few injuries, but the, the High Commission here were able to bring all of them to safety. They were able to get them to a very safe place, and so they are safe. And they they, they went to the High Commission, and now they are on their way to the airport now. So the, everyone is safe right now. Mm, I see. So we are getting to a crowd at 2 a.m. as Aladi said. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be coming around 2 a.m. We'll be landing in Ghana around 2 a.m. And the protocol officer just told me they are planning to also get the the players to also move together with us. So we are still looking. Probably we'll be coming together with the players. We are still not sure about that yet. But that's what the protocol officer told me. Okay, but uh, we are all talking about the three substitutions that were made. Uh, Brian Stallone. Yeah, can you hear me, Brian? Yes, I can hear you, Paul. The, the three substitutions that were made at half time, uh, by your reckoning, was that also the reason why we were able to hold back the Nigerian attack for the for the whole forty five minutes? Yes, if you look at the substitutions that were made, um, um, if you look at the right back position, Dennis Odo, you look at. In the first half, the Nigerians were threatening through our right wing back. And so the coaches saw that and they had to quickly make a substitution over there. And they brought in Andy Yadom at the right back position. And he was able to solidify that place. In midfield too, they took out Baba. You realize that in the first half, the Nigerians took over the midfield. And so they took out Baba and brought Elisha. And so the substitutions were also very crucial because we needed not to concede to qualify. And the substitutions worked effectively in that regard. We didn't concede in the second half. And that ended up making us qualify. We didn't see the, the dashing runs of Mohamed Kudus as we saw at the Babayara Stadium. And uh, Afenya Jan also didn't show up as, as much as they did at the Babayara Stadium. What happened? Were they asked to play a redraw role or they just couldn't make it? You realize that today, after, um, um, after the first leg, the Nigerians got to know of them. They got to know of Kudus, how dangerous Kudus would be and Afenya Jan would be. And so they, they limited them. They, they placed a lot of players in them. And also, because Ghana got the, the goal and the game was at 1 1, the coaches decided not to play two attacking, uh, but to defend and probably get away with the 1 1. And so that's why you didn't see too much attacking football from them. And that's why we didn't see much from them. But the Nigerians from the first leg saw how Kudus, dangerous Kudus was. And so they were aware of him and, and placed players on him very much. And that's why we didn't see much of Kudus today. Okay, so um, going forward, are we going to open up the, uh, the, the diary and, and bring in new Ghanaian players who couldn't come? We've been talking of Hansen Odoi, Tariq Lamte and others. Is that, is that, has that conversation started? Because the World Cup is only months away. It starts in November. Yeah, of course. 
at the moment, the, um, the, the coaching department will have to be sorted out because, you know, Otuado was giving the coaching job on an interim basis. So now the decision will be, should he continue? And we also had news that um, um, Chris Hilton will be given the job after the qualifier. So now the conversation is, is Chris Hilton taking over from Otuado or Otuado is going to continue? Or to other is going to continue. That's the conversation you are going to have. It's, it's, it's not true. Nobody telling this uh, uh, journalist, this what because of you are sorry, you are doing kind of this thing. Who told him we are going to do, uh, uh, give the job to Chris or, or to other? That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, but a decision will have to be made now. Who, who are taking the Otoado decision? Otoado is interim coach now. So either he's made substantive or another person. That's what is your idea. Chris, Otoado, we are bringing them together. I can force it. I can force it. I can force it. We can bring them together. That is our thinking. Okay, Alaji. because we are the we are advisor to the coach, and say you follow me, and can you do baby na you do it? Because the term be a me me kasa as some no ka me catch raw mu endu rachi say at otoado Chris Martin Gigi Dramani obia urona o play inti we are head coach. We are uh, an uh, advisor. Come on, we need win. We need win. You are both in the You are both crest. You are both crest. Hello. 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 I wait as football is not politics, but it's a politics. Okay, Aladdin. It's not politics. At this, at this stage, politics. At this stage, you are a management member, so we cannot ask you these questions. But say, young journalist, you bit me the one come because Omuka said Otuado ne diwe beko. Mu di one come or one can the kure na o o de no catch on the nyan. Na say the oka and no one a minister no can. I say after the tournament, no Chris Hutton be take you over because Otuado or you jima Germany. Yes, I'm okay. We are going to yeah, no, 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 no. Minister, mi, mi, minister, I've been minister, I've been okay, sir. That one is a minister, I've been okay, sir. One thing, Missy, who are the who are the place who are bomb my mintier? Min bomb my mintier, sir. I'm the best sender. What's up? First sending me what's up? Yo, I'm the best sender. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, let's get back on the conversation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's 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 vintage allergy grusa, vintage allergy grusa. Okay, so I, I'm guessing Ibrahim that. The issue about who takes the Black Stars to the World Cup, from what we are seeing from Grusa, is not it's not a fait accompli. It's not finished. Yes, yes. Especially with Otto qualifying the team now, the conversation will now come over on whether he should be made the substantive coach or not. So the conversation will start from there. Then we'll see the players, the, the other players that will be brought in to beef up the squad. They talk about Horton Odoi. We heard that his, his, his switch... Is going to end in November. We don't know by then if he can still join the team and other players that we are looking to bring on board. All th those conversations will start now and then we'll see how far that will go. Mm, I see. Uh, the former players who have been giving the Black Stars moral support, were they in Abuja? I, um, the player that I saw, I saw, um, the player that I saw here is the former general secretary of CAF, that is um, Anthony Bafo, and also the management member of, of, of the management member that's. Um, Sami Kufuor, they are those that I saw over here. I didn't see any other old players over here. Okay, we'll come back to you if we can because we are waiting for 10 o'clock and then we get the final five of the World Cup qualifiers. I, I wonder the draw was made. If anyone has said that Ghana will be the first team to qualify for the World Cup, we would all have doubted. But today, by the grace of God, uh, we have it. So, uh, thank you, Ibrahim. We're going to get the quad to give us a song for a minute. Senegal has gone to. What do you say? Senegal has gone We've heard here that Senegal have gone through. They've beaten um, um, Egypt on penalties. Senegal. It was a it was a nerve wracking, uh, pulsating game. And that for the for you who didn't see it, the first four penalties were all lost. Can you imagine? The first two from wow. Senegal and the first two from Egypt were lost. And guess who was involved? Uh, Mohamed Salah was involved in the Egyptian one. He lost it. 
And so the winning penalty was played by Sadio Mane. Now, when the, the Sadio Mane uh, stood up to take the responsibility for the fifth penalty it was, the entire 60,000 stadium in Dakar were up. You can imagine the pressure on him. Mane put the ball in the net and uh, Dakar has gone gaga tonight. Oh. Cameroon are also doing the impossible. They are in Algeria and they are leading. Are they still leading? C confirm that to me. Cameroon are still... They, 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 okay, the game has ended. The, the, the regular game has ended. Cameroon won 1-0. So that's an interesting scoreline. Algeria won 1-0 in, uh, in Yaoundé. Cameroon have won 1-0 in Algiers. The two teams have gone into extra time and they are now going into penalties. We are monitoring here in the studio. We'll let you know what happens. Very, very interesting. Okay. Now, Morocco have gone through. Uh, I think Morocco beats the weakest link among the 10. Congo DR, already beat them by three goals. And so Morocco have gone through quite easily. So we'll come back to you and, uh, and uh, we'll deal with it. This is...